According to these sources, Marie Antoinette was a beautiful woman with fair skin, blue eyes, and blonde hair. She was also known for her fashion sense, and she often wore elaborate gowns and jewels. Hi, Bella. The French Revolution began on July 14, 1789, when a mob of Parisians stormed the Bastille, a prison that was seen as a symbol of royal authority. Is that right? Yes, Gina. The storming of the Bastille is often considered to be the start of the French Revolution, but the revolution had been brewing for many years before that. Can you tell us what factors contributed to the outbreak of the French Revolution, Tony? Yes, Bella. One of the contributing factors to the outbreak of the French Revolution was economic problems. France was facing a severe economic crisis in the late 1700s. The country was heavily in debt and the people were struggling to make ends meet. Another factor is social inequality. The French society was highly stratified with the nobility and clergy enjoying many privileges that were denied to the common people. Another factor is political corruption. The French government was seen as corrupt and inefficient. The final factor is enlightenment. The ideas of the enlightenment which emphasized the individual rights and liberty had spread to France and were influential among the educated classes. The storming of the Bastille was a turning point in the French Revolution. It showed that the people were no longer willing to tolerate the old order and it inspired the other people around France to take action. Is that right, Gina? Yes, that's right, Tony. In the years that followed, the French Revolution would become increasingly radical, leading to the overthrow of the monarchy, the execution of King Louis XVI and Queen Marie Antoinette, and the establishment of a republic. The French Revolution had a profound impact on France and on the rest of the world. It inspired other revolutions, such as the American Revolution, and it helped to spread the ideas of the Enlightenment. The French Revolution is still studied today, and it continues to be a source of debate and controversy. When the Bastille was attacked during the French Revolution, the king and queen must have been shocked and threatened, right, Bella? Yes, Gina. King Louis XVI and Queen Marie Antoinette were definitely threatened when people stormed the Bastille during the French Revolution. The Bastille was a prison that was seen as a symbol of royal authority and its storming was a sign that the people were no longer willing to tolerate the old order. Feeling so anxious and feeling hopeless, the king and queen decided to escape. Is that right, Tony? Yes, Bella. The king and queen's escape attempt was a carefully planned operation. They disguised themselves as a family of commoners, and they traveled in a small carriage with a few trusted attendants. However, their plan was ultimately foiled by a series of events. First, the king and queen were delayed by a series of mechanical problems with their carriage. 
This gave the National Guard time to mobilize and set up roadblocks along the route. Second, the king and queen were recognized by a postmaster named Jean Baptiste Drouet. Drouet has seen the king's portrait on an asgnet and he was able to identify the king and queen despite their disguises. Finally, the king and queen were stopped at the town of Florence. They were recognized by the local authority and they were arrested and taken back to Paris. The scene of the king and queen's arrest was disturbing and chaotic. The local authority were initially unsure of what to do with the royal family and there was a crowd of angry people gathered outside the town hall. Eventually, the king and queen were taken back to Paris on the heavy guard. The king and queen's arrest was a major turning point in the French Revolution. It showed that the king and queen were no longer in control of the situation and it further alienated them from the French people. In September 1792, the monarchy was overthrown and the king and queen were imprisoned. They were executed by guillotine in 1793. King Louis XVI was executed on January 21, 1793, and Queen Marie Antoinette was executed nine months later, on October 16, 1793. Both were convicted of treason by the National Convention and sentenced to death. Their executions were major turning points in the French Revolution, and they marked the end of the monarchy in France. According to these sources, Marie Antoinette was a beautiful woman with fair skin, blue eyes, and blonde hair. She was also known for her fashion sense, and she often wore elaborate gowns and jewels. In the years leading up to her execution, Marie Antoinette's health declined. She became increasingly thin and pale, and she suffered from headaches and stomach pains. However, she still managed to maintain her beauty, and she was said to have looked dignified and composed on the day of her execution. She was dressed in a white gown with a blue sash. Her hair was done up in a simple style and she wore no jewelry. She looked pale and thin, but her eyes were still bright and clear. Another eyewitness said that Marie Antoinette walked to the scaffold with a steady step and she never looked back. Marie Antoinette's execution was a major event in the French Revolution, and it is still remembered today. Her image as a beautiful and tragic queen has captured the imagination of people around the world. Thank you for watching the video, French Revolution and Marie Antoinette, provided by History and Current Events. Gina, Bella Cindy, and Tony have contributed so far as narrators. Thank you.